everybody, it's John, your Indian Cinemaniac, back with another Tennis Minute review. Okay, we were a little lighter last time with uh, with Kyle Ho Na Ho. So let's get right back to uh, serious stuff with uh, 2012's Shanghai. Uh, this is, of course, off of the viewer choice wheel. Just want to remind you, I got a viewer poll going right now. I picked five films from 2023. Um, I want you to vote on which one you want me to watch. I'm going to I'm gonna try to um, get a few of these in between some of the viewer choices. You know, do a couple of viewer choices, then do a more current film, and then go back to the viewer choices. So please, as always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to do the poll, and we'll give you results soon. Okay, so this is Shanghai. It was directed by Dabakar Banerjee, who directed uh, Detective Bayum. Kesh Bakshi, which I really liked, star Abhat Deal, which I is that Bobby Deal's brother? I'm not sure. Who who is in Zendagi na Malegi Dobara, which I just recently watched. Uh, Emran Hashmi, who is in Tiger Three, Prasnajit Chitari, um, Ali Coakland, who I've seen in a bunch of stuff, Death and Gunji, Sacred Games, um. And uh, the the lead actor, well, not the lead actor, but he played Jogi. Um, he, I guess, this guy doesn't look anything like he looked in this film. Like he had bad teeth, he had a big gut. I guess he's not typically like that, which was interesting. And I also felt about this film. This reminded me of the look of it, the film Ugly. Um, and this was a Hindi film, but it was it, it almost seemed like Molly Allen to me. Um, no glamour. There was I mean, the one scene, maybe I would say was glammed up, but uh, this was not a Bollywood film. Um, very little music at all. No unnecessary musical numbers. Um, no over the top performances. Very um, uh, gritty. I use the word grounded. I probably overuse it, but but this was a gr grounded performances, grounded looks like like the the one the female lead who who was really the the most uh, predominant female in the film was, was Kalki, and she wasn't glammed up at all. I mean, in fact, I would say for the second half of the film, she had this like. Uh, dumbfounded blank stare and was crying a lot for most of the film, but she wasn't glammed up at all. And a lot of the lead characters, the only one, even him, uh, Abe deal who played Krishnan, um, he was probably the most clean cut, but you know, he had, he had the glasses on. So it, it was different. It was different, not in a bad way either. And now I will tell you that, As someone who doesn't understand the politics in India, some of what was going on, I, I, I really couldn't, I couldn't fully understand it. Okay, so let's talk about the story. The story is about two parties, political parties, right? Uh, one's the CM, and I'm not sure who the other person was, to be honest with you. And the group of people in this community, they're ta all talking about building up the city, right? Progressive. And we're going to make this a new city. It's going to be beautiful. And they're going to run out the people who live in this community, buy them out so they can tear their houses down and build this up. And there's a coalition that wants that to happen. And there's a coalition that doesn't want it to happen. Okay, so that's what I understand. So this well-known professor, a doctor, is flying in to do a speech against the progressivism. So he comes in to do a speech, and then you realize something's going on because they cancel his venue the day of the speech. And then when they find somewhere else, all havoc breaks loose, right? In fact, Kalki, who was a student of this doctor and... A little bit more, we find out, is warned by her maid, servant, helper, whatever you want to call it. Don't go to this thing. It's dangerous. 
if the doctor goes, he won't leave alive. That's what she tells him. And and she's like, well, what do you mean by that? He goes, I can't tell you more than that. And she's telling everybody, nobody buys it, including the doctor. So the doctor shows up. <clears throat> He's got to go through this mob that doesn't want him to speak. He gets a rock thrown at him. He goes in. And, you know, he starts his speech and it looks like he's not going to be able to go. And he says, wow, the hails, well, there was a real hailstorm out there. And everyone starts laughing. Now he gives this impassioned speech. He gets everybody going. It was fantastic. Well delivered. He goes out and they tell him that a professor got killed by the mop. So now he, run, he runs out there to find out what happened to the professor. Boom, he gets hit by a truck. So the film is, was it an accident? Or was it an assassination? That's the whole film. And, and it's the investigation. The investigation by the photographer and his helper, played by um, played by Emron, right? And the photographer is like a father figure to Emron's character, Jogi. And Kalki also gets involved in the investigation, and the government gets Krishnan involved who is, I, I wrote this down because it, it was confusing. He was an IAS officer. So he's going to do an investigation, right? And as it goes on, you realize there's a cover-up. The cops are covering up stuff. The government is covering up stuff. And every time the, a little piece of evidence shows up, the person who brought it gets killed. So there's a, you realize there's a tape out there, videotape, that is evidence against this. And they're going to sell it. Well, the guy who made the tape gets killed. So he's gone, right? And then the people who drove the truck, you've got this older guy and a younger guy who, who are the assassins, right? And the older guy doesn't feel right about it. He feels he did it, but he did it for money. He did it, you know, for whatever reason. The younger guy is all gung-ho, has got a big mouth. He ends up getting killed. So now the older guy knows he's going to get killed. So, and it all culminates to, you realize that the coalition, the CM, not the home minister, again, I'm throwing out these terms, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm figuring it out, right? The CM is behind it. And Krishnan figures this out because they finally find the evidence. I'll talk about that a little bit too. One of the, a couple of flaws about this film. Um, and the scene at the end, where he he confronts his boss with the evidence because they they gave him this big promotion to just including the cm this woman ma'am 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 who when the scene was happening i'm like is she covering this up or or is she does she want it to get solved you couldn't tell in that scene well then you come to find out yeah she was behind the assassination and he's got the proof and that scene is great. They're at this big party, and the music was beautiful. I don't know. Uh, I, it was just, it was just like this tense. Like it would kept ramping up till the guy finally gives in and, and goes along with what Krishnan wanted. So it all, it all worked out in the end. Um, they solve it, and and then it was weird because it ends with the doctor's. I don't know if it was his wife. Uh, her name was Mrs. Mrs. Ahmed, and I'm I'm not sure. So, so Kalki had an affair with the doctor. This woman who showed up when he was in the hospital was a student of his too, and they're kind of implying she had something with him. Well, at the end of the film, the CM is going to be arrested. Oh, she's got to resign. There's a picture of her, which I assume she's running for the CM position. Okay, that's how it ended. That was kind of confusing. Um, so I'm going to give the story, uh, I, I like a good political thriller, so I'm going to give it a four, even though I was confused by it because I don't understand the politics. So I could see where someone who's really into this would understand much more than I did. But I still liked it because it, it, you're trying to figure out what's going on here. Who Who is, like like a Yogi a Joggy at one point, I thought he was part of the, the assassination team because he ends up hooking up with one of the guys who was in the truck in a musical number. Right. And you thought they knew each other and they were friends. Well, then you find out, no, they didn't know each other. They, he just happened to be there. So that was, that was a little confusing. Also, there was no backstory on Kalki's character. Um, uh, Sha Shalia. Sha I'm sorry. Shalini. Shalim. No, Shalimi. Wait a minute. Say that right. 
Shalini, Shalini. So like, you know, at one point they, the, the doctor and her at the beginning make out in the kitchen. So, you know, they, they've got some kind of relationship, but no backstory. Why was she there? Why was she not in London or, or America where she was educated? Uh, you really find out nothing about Mrs. Um, Ahmed, but you, they imply stuff, but you really don't find anything about her. So, so that kind of stuff was a little, a little confusing. You didn't know who was in on it and who wasn't. Um, so, so that's why I'll, I'll, I'm going to give the story for the performances. I'm going to give, uh, I thought the performances were, um, although I do have to say at, at a certain point, especially with her, she got very one note till she beat the crap out of the guy who drove the truck because she finds out the reason why her servant knew that something was going to happen. That guy was her father. So she finds that out and takes a plate and starts beating the guy with it. That's the only time in the whole second half that she showed that kind of emotion. She was a little one note and she's a really, I, I really like her as an actress. So, so, you know, that performance wasn't great, but, but uh, uh, I thought Joggy was great. Krishna, the, the way uh, he, uh, the conflict he was going through, should I go along with this? Should I not? Should I do the right thing? And then when the evidence is overwhelming, He's got to do the right thing, and he did do the right thing. So because of the grittiness of the performance, and there was no, there really wasn't a lot of over-the-top over, over the top stuff like you usually see in these um, uh, Hindi movies, um, I'm going to give the performances a four. Um, the songs, you know, they were okay. I wasn't like, there wasn't a lot of uh, like background music in this film. It was a very... It, it was it was very interestingly shot and the sound was really interesting too b because there was a lot of ambient sound there wasn't a lot of music i mean there were a couple musical numbers but you know what they weren't even like um i don't know they weren't like like big production numbers right they were in situations where it didn't seem out of the norm that they would do something like this and and the the choreography was very um uh, it wasn't like super stylized. It was like, you know, how real people might might dance together. So there was a couple of those. But I like the fact that there wasn't a lot of music. I thought it added to the tension because there really was like a ticking clock. Are they going to solve this uh, before this coalition happens? You know, um, so I'm going to give the music a three. It wasn't like it didn't stand out. It didn't bother me. Um, and overall. I guess I, I guess I got to give this movie a four. Now it had major flaws to me, major flaws. But I will say that overall, I'm going to give it a four because it it was a short film. It's an hour and forty five minutes, and that hour and forty five flew for me because uh, I was into it. I, I I couldn't figure out who was good, who was bad, and frankly, no one's really good. In fact, the one of the lead uh, Joggy gets busted for pornography, so he's. You know, so so the good guy isn't really a good guy, um, and and neither is uh, neither is Shalene for that matter because she was having an affair with the doctor. So, um, so so yeah, I'm I'm going to give it a four. Now let's talk about the flaws. A couple things I didn't understand. Um, every time that there was a piece of evidence, and there's like one other person in the room, someone else finds out about it, and someone gets killed. So. That's why I thought maybe Joggy was like, he was telling, you know, he he was with the bad guys, but he wasn't. Um, and the other thing was, okay, so they go back. So the guy who recorded this tape and has evidence, the one who gets killed, they couldn't find it, right? So Joggy remembers that he said something about backing it up. So they go back to this guy's house. Remember, this guy was like a father figure to him. They go back to the house and the house has been ransacked looking for this tape, Right. But sitting there on the floor is his desktop computer, the tower, sitting there. And, of course, that's where it's backed up. Now, these bad guys who know what's on this tape, who know it can sink them, they ransack this place and leave the computer. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a convenient plot thing. Because then he picks it up and they're chasing him. And he's carrying this giant tower around. 
that was kind of silly. I, I didn't get that at all. And, you know, it would have been, this is one time where maybe if it was a little bit longer and they could have given you a little more backstory on some of the characters, like there was a scene at the beginning where the doctor comes off this plane and there's this beautiful actress, um, and and um, he comes off the plane and goes over to all the press are around her, and they obviously talked on the plane, right? And he gives her a kiss, and you know he says, well, "Maybe we'll see you at the performance tonight," because she does one of the musical numbers she does at this event. Um, it's called um, in India Bana Padres, I think that's what it was. Um, so 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 that's her, but but so so there's nothing about like what happened on the plane, the conversation they had. She does the musical number. You never hear from her again. So, you know, that was kind of strange um, and stuff like that. And then the doctor who, who doesn't die till the very end of the film. Um, and, 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 you know, they did this other thing at the end where they did a little, a little blurb about what happened to each character. So they almost implied like, this is based on a true story. Now, I, what I read, I, I couldn't, I couldn't find that. So, does anybody know? Is is this based on any kind of real thing that happened at some point? Because it definitely felt like maybe it could be real. Because it was almost documentary style. Um, but you know, the, it's just the government was bad, the police were bad. Well, everybody was bad in this film. Everybody was bad in this film. So, uh, so you know, stuff like that just. It didn't, it didn't, I didn't make me hate the film, but, but there was definitely flaws that I didn't quite understand. Um, what else? Oh, they did this interesting thing with the camera angles too. A, a bunch of the scenes, and I don't know what the director is trying to do with this, but uh, there's a great scene. There's a great shot famous in Citizen Kane, where after he loses the election, he's talking to uh, his best friend and they, they actually dug a hole in the floor, stuck the camera in the floor and the, the camera is pointing up. Um, and, and they did that a lot in this film where the camera was lower. It wasn't like if there's a two shot, it's not like they're in the frame. It was down below pointing up. So I, I'm not sure why he did that, why the director did that, but I, or, or I don't even know if this is a, a male. I said a male, but I don't know if he, the director's male on it. Um, but I find that kind of interesting too. So yeah, I like this. I mean, I, I think a four, it really kept me into it, and I I, was, I wanted to know how it was going to end. And I thought the ending was I thought the payoff at the ending was really good. I mean, like I said, there were some flaws in it, but you know, little didn't didn't take away from my enjoyment. So thanks for that recommendation. I appreciated that. Um, so the next film, I'm going to base that on the viewer poll that hopefully you have already taken a look at, and I'm going to do a film from 2023. Then I'll get right back to the viewer choice wheel. Okay, so that's it, everybody. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. We're getting closer to the Cricket World Cup, India versus Ireland, June 5th. I got to get my uh, my cricket hat. I got to get that hat. Uh, okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll talk to you soon with another tennis minute review. Thanks for watching, everybody.